Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to cover the Osborne Lace Cutter, also referred to as the Osborne 1000. It is basically a gadget that helps you make various widths of leather lace. There are many other types of gadgets around, but this one is quite interesting, so I wanted to show you how to use it, as well as talk a bit about its advantages and disadvantages. It costs about $35 the last I checked, which may be reasonable or maybe not, depending on your preferences. Now with that said, let's take a look at how it works, as well as do some cutting. If we take a quick look at the parts of our lace cutter, you can see that it is a three-part set. You get a blade as well as a handle for the blade, and all you do is unscrew the handle at the top, insert the blade, and then screw it back on. And you get a blade for cutting your lace. You can use any other knife for that purpose, but it has to be a fairly thin knife. Now if we take a look at the main part of the lace cutter, this is what regulates the width of your lace. Let's take a look at the basic components. Here is what is called a leather slot, and this is where you insert your leather. This here, the thinner slot, is the knife slot where you insert the blade of your knife. It has to be a fairly thin knife, so if you're using any other one than the one in the set, it has to be fairly thin. This is a fence, and basically it regulates the width of your lace. If we take a look, the distance between the blade and the fence is the width of your lace. So if we use the knob here on the right side, we can pull the fence away and basically increase the width of our lace. Now once you're happy with the width, one part of the knob splits off and it is basically a locking collar. Once you get it right next to your lace cutter, the fence will lock off and you can start using it. To start cutting your lace, first pick up the lace cutter and adjust the width of your lace using the knob at the top. Use the locking collar to prevent the knob from moving. Pick up a piece of leather and make a hole into it. This hole is several inches wide and we're going to start cutting from the inside of our piece towards the outside. We're going to take our lace cutter and place it over our leather, basically inserting our leather into the leather slot. We want the knife slot to be on the side where the lace is, and we're now going to pick up our knife, place it through the hole from the bottom, then into the knife slot. Once it locks off, we can start cutting. So now that we have cut some lace, let me talk to you a bit about the advantages and disadvantages of this specific lace cutter. The big advantage is that it cuts lace fast and of uniform width once you get used to it. 
The disadvantage is that it has a bit of a learning curve. Any lace cutter does have that and this one is no different. You're going to waste some lace, getting used to it, and that's part of the learning process. Another potential disadvantage is that you start at the middle of your leather piece and you cut towards the outside. Most leather workers, especially braiders, are used to start cutting lace on the outside, out of a round, for example, and this is a bit different. It doesn't make it worse, but it is different. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Osborne Lace Cutter. Thank you and see you next time.